So on, on this one, um, again, whenever you guys see that there is going to be a, a radical, just like on here, you guys are going to see some crazy stuff under radicals. But again, it doesn't matter what is under the radical. All we know is based on a restriction, our whatever for any values of x, our radical has to be greater than or equal to 0. So here, we just have a nice expression. And that's nice, right? But it's going to get, it's going to get crazy. But anyways, x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. Greater than or equal to 0. Right? And that's the values of x we want to figure out. So now, all we got to do is find the values of x that make that true. So we'll solve for 5, or solve for x, I'm sorry. x has to be greater than or equal to negative 5. Which, Reese? Yeah. Right? Yeah, OK. Um, so we point out, so I think you went up to 6. So we can actually include negative 5, because that still makes it 0. So we're still good with that. Um, to go ahead and find the notation on this, again, let's use our nice little number line. Let's go to negative 5. So it says x has to be greater than or equal to negative 5. Equal to, though, so if it's equal to, should that be included or excluded? Included. So in Algebra 1, we use these little nice little closed dots, right? And then let's say here's 0, here's negative 10. Obviously, for values that are greater than, we're going to be going to the positive, which is going to the right. OK, so now by looking at this, if we need to represent, so again, what's the smallest value on this graph? Negative. What's the smallest value that's defined on the graph? Yeah, but that's de defined. Negative 5. And then we're going all the way to, we're never going to stop, so we're going to go to infinity. Is negative 5 included or excluded? Included, so we use brackets. Infinity is never included, so it's always parentheses. Okay. That's the difference. So included is always in brackets. Included is always in brackets. Okay. 